Hi, good morning guys. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be doing our first engine modification to our brand new 2021 Mach 1 Mustang. I still owe you a first drive. That is coming. We're not doing it today because it's pouring outside. So, so yeah, this video is going to be pretty short and sweet. Uh, it's, it's really doesn't need to be that long, so I don't want to keep you watching any longer than you need to. However, comma, if you missed the last video, then go check it out. I'll link it up here in the card above, but we installed the GT500 or handling package version of this spoiler with the gurney flap back there, and we did something cool with the color. So go check out that video linked up above. But yeah, about 50 so miles driven so far on our Mach 1. We have big plans for this car. There are a ton of modifications we're going to be doing. We're going to start road coursing. We will be doing drag racing and all that stuff too. So we have to modify the car accordingly. And honestly, it doesn't really need that much. But I think that you guys will really enjoy what we have in store for this build. So make sure that you are subscribed and turn your bell notification on. But without further ado, let's pop the hood. Let's go. All right, here we go. First look at our 2021 Mach 1. Got the GT350 intake, throttle body, and all of the rest of the goodies that comes with these cars. It makes them so unique. But you don't really need to do anything for power, honestly. I mean, these cars are so good as they are. Of course, we will be adding power. <laughs> that is the number one thing that we are going to be doing. But in its stock form, the one thing that every one of these uh, Coyotes needs should come from the factory this way. And in some cases, in some variants of the Mustang, they actually do. And that is, well, you guess it, a catch can. So we're gonna be replacing this they absolutely do work 100 i've got one in the truck i've had one in every single car that i've had you know over the past uh, several years and they do collect oil so what exactly is a catch can well think of it like this it's kind of like a pass through like a check valve so as vacuum boost or air crankcase pressures move through uh, your pcv system what the catch can is actually going to do is collect a lot of the oil residue and carbon and all that other gunk that over time will actually kind of clog up your throttle body. It builds up in the intake manifold. It can clog up your heads. I mean, this is, we're talking about like, you know, years of driving. This is one of those things that, you know, typically I like to add. They do function, they do work. They don't cost a whole lot, but if you want to, again, save a couple of dollars, visit down below in my video descriptions and use the promo codes attached. So we have a new product. Well, kind of uh, from JLT which is now J and L oil separators all of my discount codes and information in the video descriptions are going to be updated from here on forward when you have excess buildup like that it actually robs octane it's a bunch of science and i can't explain it to you because i don't know enough about it but i do know that these things are effective they work and uh, we're going to install it today and show you how easy it is let's get this opened up one-handed and here we go so what we got here we got our oil separator j and l so the logo is changed but the catch can itself is pretty much identical to the outgoing JLT models and you can get these in different colors I chose black this time because I think it's gonna match up pretty well but you can also get them in something that matches like your short tower brace a silver color essentially this is just going to install and free hang in this vicinity here and uh, let me open this up so I can show you what they look like on the inside in case you're not familiar with one of these unscrew like this and it's just a can so I've got a uh, rubber o-ring seal here so that you won't have any leaks but there is the internals your little mesh screen right here is essentially crankcase pressures and air and everything pass through here it works kind of like a check valve it only goes one way and it's, and it's going to collect any debris uh, through here and it'll catch in here so about every oil change or so you can empty these out do you have this little blue tab be very careful you just gonna kind of I like to push it forward and then down and then it should slide right off just like this and you'll do the same thing right here okay and then it pops free like that and then don't throw them away you know you might want to hold on to it for you know the future but this is essentially going to pop in place now if we take our stock one believe me i'm not lying to you so take a pinky a finger and then you can actually run through now there's no miles really on this car there's only like 50 miles on it but there is actually oil that i can get off my fingers let's try this one so yeah a little bit wet i don't know if you can really pick that up on camera that much but you know with mileage and as the oil darkens you're really going to be able to tell so 
oil does pass through these things and it goes essentially right back into your intake system and over time with excess buildup you know it actually dilutes your octane level and you want octane you want a high level of that so so this is in a sense it's also a performance modification if you want to think about it that way so let's install it real quick all right so all we need to really do is maybe we come under some of the wiring here i gotta figure this out and this can rotate a little bit if you need it to. I think I want to come under all this. So let's see if we can get this figured out. It's safely between there. It's not going to pinch any wires. I'm going to clip down. There we go. And then this one, rotate a little bit. Snap and snap. Make sure that the catch can is fully seated down here on the O-ring. It's tight. You don't want any leaks. And that is it. Okay. So... Yep, secure here, secure down here, and we are safely through the wires, not pinching anything, nothing's in the way, and then this is your clearance, you have plenty of it. We're not touching valve cover or anything like that, so fits beautifully. I think this, they've revised it, I think, since the last time I saw one of these. This fits a little bit better, I think. I know it's hanging, it's kind of free hanging. They also make different versions, so if you're supercharged, they have one that has extended line where it'll like basically mount like in this location here, and it'll live in this vicinity. That way it's uh, out of the way of everything. So there's different variations of catch cans out there, different companies. I always trust uh, JLT, which is now J and L. Just remember that whenever you're shopping. I think that looks really good. So I'm glad I chose the black color. I think it looks pretty stealthy in there. This does not void any kind of a warranty whatsoever. You know, get something that's kind of pre-installed already together like this, and it's just snap, snap, and you're done. All right, so pretty easy install, right? So in the next videos, uh, you're going to see first drive, and then we have a lot of modifications we're going to be doing to this, uh, like I was talking about. So we got new wheels, new tires, we have exhaust, we have a bunch of other secrets that I'm going to keep to myself for now so make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss that content on a Mach 1. But as far as the catch can goes I've actually been asked repeatedly you know is this worth it do I need this side or that side and uh, you know I'll never say no to you know like the driver's side if you want to do that you certainly most can you know maybe there's a different kind of uh, maybe you have a different source of boost or something like that so we're actually like if you're turbo for example uh, your pressures actually move a little bit different. You know, the PCV systems change a little bit. So there is options there, and I'm glad to see that JNL has those options available. But yes, they do work, and yes, you do need one, in my opinion, and it should be something that you would probably want to get done sooner than later. So anyway, so I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you found it fun, informative, and give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Get ready for more mods. We're going to go fast.